Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well. Let's get into your reading. We're going to start off with some messages from your spirit guides. I just want to make a quick announcement while I'm shuffling these cards for you, honey. Um, the readings will be like between 20 and 25 minutes this week, only because of my work schedule and all readings for this week will be pre-recorded. I will be back live maybe this weekend, but definitely next week. Okay. Oh, that's, that's an excellent card. Ooh. The Earth, which is the world. Very good. Okay, undies and mermaids in reverse. Huh? Okay. Everybody not going to be happy for you. Message from Earth in reverse. Seven of water upright. And the uh, four of fire in reverse. Yeah. All right. I got some good news and I got mm, some not so good news, but you'll be okay. And I'm not trying to sound insensitive, but this is the truth of the matter. Um, for those that connect with this, I just got to tell you that you do have a lot of level up, level ups, a lot of growing and a lot of expansion coming in the future. Uh, this year per se, I feel like it's going to be an evolving year for you, but the harsh truths that are coming with this level up and like expansion is that the people that you think, the people that you think may be like going on this journey with you. Will not be going on this journey with you. In fact, they don't even want your ass to go. You associate with some selfish people. And some of them are very close friends of yours. And others could be your family. Seriously. Like, you, you're you going to have to choose yourself over people that you consider your friends to be. This can be another uh, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. I have Pisces. I have a uh, Virgo and Capricorn here too. People going to try to make their problems your problems. And if you don't bail them out and rescue them, you're not a good friend. You're selfish. You're narcissistic. <laughs> yeah. People are going to want their problems to be your problems. And I'll get the energy of pocket watching. You can have like something going on online or, um, yeah where you're seen maybe you have an online business and the people that you know that they they have an inkling of your success and they feel entitled to it and they're not entitled and then it looks like the money that you make or will make is going into the business or going into something that uh you already have going on that that need that you need to pay you know consistently your money is already accounted for you already have to make payments and you already have things that you have to take care of. So I don't know. People may have an inkling of what type of like money you're making, but they don't know the bills that you have to pay. Yeah. yeah. A parent of yours may like injure themselves and you may end up being their caregiver. And it's nothing wrong with that. But even when it comes to that situation, this person could be um, unrealistic with their expectations of you. And you may have to kindly check them. Like, I can do this, but I can't do that. You know, you, you just got to check them. Give me one second. Sorry about that. But yeah. Some of y'all may be um, forced to put somebody out, a roommate out, or somebody that you know you are you're helping out because your efforts and your support that you're offering could be taken for granted. Somebody here possibly not working as hard as they need to or should to like turn their circumstances around. But if you want more of an explanation as to why. Everybody wants your uh, their problems to be your problems now. It, it, this one card pretty much <laughs> is the reason, the earth. So, okay. So, the earth talks about travels and changes in your body. You could be going through a, a surgery or a like a, a medical surgery or a cosmetic surgery or changing your place of residence, getting some type of home repairs and upgrades, renovations, doing inner and outer work. That's making you more attractive inside and outside. So this is you recovering from a dark night of the soul and ascension, 
and uh, looking good on the outside because it's reflecting the beauty that's on the inside. Whether you're a masculine or a feminine, honey. They says, it says contacts with influential, suitable, and important people. So whether you are an influential person yourself, you're going to be in alignment with people that is just as influential as you. That's going to help you move up, which is awesome. Doors and paths that open for the consultant. Favorable outcome of ventures and new activities. I like it. Decisions made will be the ones of Sorry, decisions made will be of the correct ones, but they must be fast and sincere, conception, birth, and delivery. So some of y'all could be actually getting pregnant, but for the most part, I just feel like this is growth. This is expansion. This is uh, really good news, a new beginning, a positive one, a clean slate, and also a level up, you know, really rubbing shoulders with the right people that could change your life. This is good. This is good. And because of that, everybody wants a piece of you. And you're going to have to tell them no if you want if you want your own peace of mind and some money in your pocket. Got to learn how to say no cuz they're going to try you. They're going to definitely try you. So you've been warned. All right. Let's see what's going on with the T. What is the T? regarding tourist placements and surrounding tourist placements that they may not be completely aware of. Let's see. Hmm. Mm, no more. Okay. I was going to shuffle one more time. That changed my mind. you may be aware of already what about the tea that you're not aware of <laughs> oh these cards are carding today okay i'm just gonna leave it like that right now let's see about the tea that you're aware of moving on thank you next unfazed uh, photo proof getting evidence and dodging bullets so you are aware that there is somebody that either walked away from you and you let them or you gladly walked away from the you i mean no there is somebody here that you are aware of that you walked away from and you want to stay away from them or they walked away from you and you didn't chase them and you just let them and you hope that they stay walking away uh, you may be well aware that now that you don't care or unfazed by this person uh, they're spying on you. You know that they're toxic. You know that they're negative and you view them as a bullet that you have to continue to dodge, you know, with dodging bullets here, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people. You see what I'm saying? So you, this is somebody that you know is a little off and is staying protected by haters. So this is somebody that's jealous of you too. They could be spying on your social media, trying to get some type of evidence or that feed, whatever's going on in their imagination, you know? And it looks like you don't care. You're already aware of this person. You're already aware of what they're trying to do. And you don't care. Moving on. Thank you. Next. You said what you said. It's over. Can we keep it moving? Can you please get over me, sir, ma'am? That's the type of energy here. You're aware of that. Now, why I was laughing, this is what you ain't aware of. Dust it off. So this is somebody that you think don't give two Fs about you. But really, all they do is, is they abuse divination. They spy on you. They get readings done on you. Oh, my obsessive readings. It's not just a reading here and there. Divination abuse is somebody that uses tarot or some type of uh, divination technique to get information on you too damn much. They do it too much. Okay. Uh, they're into you. Somebody that acts like they're not with dust it off. You ain't nothing. It's over with. It's cool. Nah, it's not over with for them. They want to know. If it's a chance for you and them, who you dealing with, if you dealing any, with anybody, is somebody coming around? If so, can I get a description via tarot how this person look? When they supposed to be coming around? What season? Is they thing? Whatever. They want to know. Into you, good chemistry, great vibes, positive. You were a light in this person's life and more than likely they took it for granted. So there's a person that you don't give two Fs about, 
that you are already aware of that uh, wants to get a, some type of attention from you and you're not giving it to them. This one is somebody that you may think that it's done and over with, that you maybe still is curious about yourself. And uh, you, didn't, you don't even know, really. Like, this person is obsessed with you. Divination abuse, to me, is obsession. Into you? Clearly, with the divination abuse, clearly obsessed. And then you got dusted off. On the outside, they, they do a really good job of pretending like they don't care. A pretty good job. And you know what? For some of y'all, this could be the same person. This could be what you think you know versus what's really going on. Huh. And you want to know what's interesting? This could be you putting somebody that's very self-centered, toxic in a place. Maybe you really did like this person and they forced you to move on. And now that you done dusted their ass off, all of a sudden they care and they into you. See, you could have been dealing with somebody that only liked people that didn't like them and they didn't know how to treat people that was genuinely into them. And now you treating them like any other person on the street. Oh, okay. Now they into you. Be careful with this one. Be careful with this one. What's the advice? Through the tea. Child services. Fed up. Broke ass. Yeah. They a deadbeat. Um, this person may not be the type of human being that you thought they were at all. They, they're not fixable. They're, you can't afford to treat an adult like a child for one. You know, whether they got children or not, they want you to be their daddy or their mama, not their man or their woman. You see, that, that's the first thing. Then it's like, just like a child don't have a job or have enough going, this person don't either. We're broke ass here. And if you are thinking of being with this person, when is enough going to be enough with fed up here? Like, let leave this shit alone. Leave this alone. Yeah. Some For some of y'all, this person could be abusive, moody. And, and, no, no, no. Keep it moving. You dodged a bullet. Let it stay that way. Let it stay that way, honey. What's the signs involving this person? This energy from the T-spread. One moment. Sorry about that. So, the signs for the person... Uh, involving your tea spread are oh child. all right it can be a scorpio a leo a sagittarius a libra a virgo a pisces an aquarius and i have leo here again so that's what i have all righty um let's pull some financial cards see what's going on with your finances a job abruptly with coughing here this talks about bad investments financial challenges savings job ending night shift but you got eggs here for starting over and saving up two things that come out i mean two messages that's come out twice saving so if you've been doing a not so great job at saving your money you may need to this is a warning for you to plan ahead because you never know what's going to happen and you want to make sure you have enough money to fall back on. If your hours get cut, if something happens and you can't work, something gets outsourced or whatever the case may be. You have right now, you have the opportunity to create a safe nest for you to fall back on. If you, you know, decide to do so, you, you may regret it if you don't. You could be in healthcare, you could be going to the healthcare industry. But definitely new uh, opportunities are on the horizon and you're going to need that, that, that extra money from your savings as like insurance. So you're being advised to start thinking ahead and planning for the future. And somebody here has a bad habit of um, 
taking money out of their retirement plan, like their 401k or 403 or something like that. Stop doing that and just budget your money better. Because you may end up regretting it. You got coins, money coming in, wealth, good investments, sales, finance, getting a raise, lucky. But the thing is, it came out in reverse. So a raise, something like that could be delayed. It's not that it's not going to happen, but it could be delayed right now. Some type of pay increase. Like you could be used to getting overtime on the weekends or whatnot. And that overtime may get cut short for a little while. So you want to plan ahead. Others of you, your shift could be changing. You could be going from midnights to afternoons or midnights to mornings and vice versa. They want you to prepare yourself financially for some changes in the future for work. And, and you're not going to see these changes come. It, it'll catch you off guard if you're not prepared for it. Let's see. Make it work. It says you have all the tools you need to succeed, but you have to put in the effort. You excel at working with your hands and fixing problems. So maybe you just kind of burnt out, you know. They want you to continue to make it work for you for right now because it's not going to stay this way, especially if you're having trouble. Uh, you are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you, so don't give up. You may need to grow your own business to be truly happy. Some of you just may not be built for, like, working for somebody, and maybe these issues and roadblocks that you may be experiencing right now is a more more so of a confirmation from the universe that you are not meant to work for nobody but yourself. So, you know, take that in mind. Keep that in mind. Let's see. How does the person on your mind feel about you? They want to apologize to you. They feel like you turned your back on them. And this person have learned to respect you from the loss of you. They miss the way you love them. They feel like when y'all separated, you turned your back and you're doing much better than them. This is the back of the world. You intimidate this person too. Hmm. I don't know why I'm getting some type of like download in regards to a child. Somebody regret like losing a child or not having a child or something somebody has regrets because whoever this is they don't have no attachment to you and what's crazy is intuitively i'm hearing that they don't really want the child but if that's what it would have took to keep you around and shit they would have you know now they were you know in that uh, aspect they regret it this could be another fixed sign a taurus like yourself a leo Aquarius or Scorpio and I have Cancer and Pisces here too. I got all the water elements here Definitely a spiritual connection on the astral plane between you and this person It looked like they tried to play you like you wasn't worthy of them now They're wondering if they're worthy of you and they have a lot of regrets This person learned to love you through first getting having respect for you and that respect grew into some type of love and admiration. How do you feel about them? Damn. Wait till y'all see what card came. The card literally flew. Wait till you see what card uh, came out. One moment. Taurus, this the card that came out. You happily single. You are happily single. You are okay with the way things are between you and this person. You are stable and you just confirmed that their feelings towards you are spot on. Because one of the things that I remember, what is that? Okay, one of the things that I remember saying is this person feels like you're doing better off without them and you turned your back on them. And this nine of pentacles says you are absolutely correct, sir, ma'am, I am. And I would like to keep it that way. So stay the fuck away from me, okay? <laughs> That's what it's given. And it's like you're waiting, you're anticipating on a new opportunity here. A new opportunity in love with the Ace of Cups. And then you got temperance on the other side. You are very unbothered. Extremely unbothered. Yes, if, if, if I'm all out of fucks with a person, it'll definitely be you. 
for sure for sure for shizzle all right uh <laughs> Damn, uh, I mentioned all these signs over here, but I got Virgo, um, more water, and I have Sagittarius now. Goodness gracious, do they need to know anything about a new love? Is the, are, are their intuitions spot on in regards to them anticipating something better instead of dealing with the person on their mind? Um, you are right, but you know you going to... You know you're going to have to sort out the rotten apples from the fresh, good, you know, eatable, edible apples. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Shadow Side of the Six of Cups, the Shadow Side of the Knight of Wands, uh, the Hermit, the Back of the Hermit, the Back of the Hermit, and the Four of Cups. So you are anticipating some F-boys or F-girls to approach you before you meet the one. Um, and, and you're correct about that, too. You have someone here that from your past that you are highly attracted to, like you think they look good, but not good enough for you to like go back to or anything like that. If you have been getting like downloads from the universe of this person returning, they will return. They will return. But um, you're, you're being advised to reject them. They come with drama. People will be competing for you. And may the best man and best woman win. Look like you got a fire sign and another earth sign competing for you. And it could be a Scorpio that will be competing for you. Yep. Yep. But leave this other one alone if you want to be happy. Because they're going to bring a lot of drama in your life. A lot. All right. Um, let me close out your message. Your commitment is being tested and a new start is coming. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you something. What I'm feeling intuitively, somebody from your past is not just going to take no for an answer. They're going to try. They, they may even spend their last as an investment, though, to, like, win you back. They're going to keep fighting. They're not going to just take no for an answer the first time. You have to tell them no for, for, for a few, quite a few times. Because this, your commitment is being tested. I don't even feel like it's coming from you. I feel like it's coming from somebody that is in denial that you don't want their ass no more. This is somebody that's in denial about you not wanting to deal with them anymore. And I mean, it's personal, you know, and then you got a new start that's coming. And it is coming. And it's better than whatever this is. I don't know. Somebody is definitely the Lulu. As fuck. But, you know, it's on them. Give me a kiss. Mwah. I love you. Good luck. I don't know what to tell you. You know, change your number, do something. Because I just feel like somebody from your past is going to irritate the hell out of you. And I'm sorry. Have a good day, okay? Stop humping on people. You did it. You did it. You humped on them and now they ain't never going to be right. Be careful when you humping on people, Taurus. I'm signing off now. Goodbye.